All right, I decided to do a little bit of tweaking on the timing. Basically, I changed this uh, controller down from 90 degrees timing and this one up from 24.9. Basically, I moved them both by 45 degrees timing. Um, <clears throat> this has allowed me to make more power. Um, Let's do a little run, and then basically we will maybe bump the time in five more degrees. So we'll get it running here, real time, real time, the current on both of them. So you can see, there's 100 and, 124 kilowatts in, 102 kilowatts out, so that's pretty exciting. Uh, now I'm just doing short little tests. Um, basically, temperature isn't an issue. You can see it climbs pretty fast when I give it throttle, but uh, it's not too bad. It broke 400 amps there. And um, looking at RPM, we climbed pretty good there. Try not to move the camera around too much, but I'm recording from a screen capture app at the same time. So basically, that'll help. Um, this side, if we look at real-time data, temperature, RPM, <clears throat> current, you can see we dipped almost the 400 amps there. <clears throat> RPM is one of the better ones to watch. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do another test. I just uh, changed 5 degrees timing. Let's see if we can get a little more here. That's spinning up. Get that playing. Get that playing. <clears throat> so just go to our 9,000 RPM. Here's a test. So we didn't see big gains there, <clears throat> but we can do a test where we look at the temperature, where we do a run, see how high the climb and how fast. Starting to stabilize, I'm going to take a break. Uh, it's just all I really wanted to do with this video was actually prove the main goal of this video is to actually prove the power. Um, we have more power available. Uh, I can possibly bump this to 10,000 RPM and see if we see a little more. Maybe I'll do that quick. You can see the curve here. Uh, with all this stuff going on, you can see we're starting to flatten the curve. Um, nonetheless, basically that curve there, you can see it's starting to curve over and probably stop somewhere around 60, 70 degrees uh, Celsius. That's with the little cooling system I'm running now, so eventually I would add more cooling. Um, like I said, I got a heat pump system that will be used to cool this, hopefully blow ambient. That'll be for drag racing and road, road course kind of racing kind of stuff. So um, nonetheless, we're getting there. <clears throat> um, the timing has helped quite a bit. So I think we'll do one test, bring us up to 10 by letting it rev higher it may allow us to break a little more power. So we saw 125 roughly kilowatts on this side, 400 and something maps. So we'll get this, we'll get this spinning and then we'll get that. <coughs> Go back here to current, get this playing. Just about ready here. There's, didn't really make any more power. Oh yeah, 130 kilowatts, 120 kilowatts out, so that's not too bad. Come back to temperature, you can see again, we didn't get to 50 degrees temp. Um, each one's pretty similar temp on each one. This one just has a little bit of noise on the temp sensor, so the way it auto scales is a little different. We have some modifications in a future revision of Axiom to actually clean up that signal a bit. and. <clears throat> for some testing I had to remove some resistors on this side and hand solder them back on there's a chance I might have a bad solder joint there so I'll have to look at the temperature sensing circuit on this side but nonetheless don't worry about that that's going to get cleaned up it's going to get better in the future so yeah we're looking at pretty good power here basically you know over 400 amps regen and basically current you know approaching 500 amps current I would say 5 would be the peak of my pointer so probably about 4 yeah probably about 470 amps maybe 460 somewhere up there that's pretty decent um, 
I think we're in uh, pretty good shape here. And that's with relatively low voltage. I'm gonna add voltage to this once we finish testing some other features with this. So I'm pretty excited. We're able to see 130 kilowatts for a burst. Pretty sure we'd be able to do 100 kilowatts continuous. Remember right now I'm running <clears throat> um, a peak phase amp of 800 amps. You can actually probably see that here in the real time data. It was just six, what are we looking at? Yeah, 700 there, some, or something like that. Four, five, no, that's past seven, because 700 would be about here. It says almost 800 amps. I'm sure in the video we'll be able to look back and see the current in the motor here. I motor is phase amp, so basically, same sort of thing on this side. You Actually, you can see right here, it was right at 800 phase amps, so that's pretty exciting. I think we'll call that quits for the afternoon.